All right, I've decided to uh, no longer use the uh, GoPro for my sculpting videos. And the reason why is because I can't zoom in. And I can't adjust the, the, uh, the uh, lighting on it. Well, I probably can. I just haven't had the time to really sit down and look at it. But you can't zoom. And so it's primarily for, you know, skateboarders and stuff, stuff like that. But this, I don't think it's really going to work for me. So... I've uh, set it aside, and I will use it when I do my workshop down in Texas, and when I drive around down in Texas, and whatever else I might do when I take off on the airplane. I don't know, <laughs> but when I take a trip. Um, but using it uh, for this, it just ain't going to work too well because, first of all, it's inside of a case, and they haven't got to open cases yet because uh, the GoPro Hero 4 is so new that they haven't got a lot of the stuff even out yet and if it is out it's hard to get I mean I've waited for over a month to get the batteries and the uh, battery charger so I notice that this braid here is wrapped in red cloth which it was uh, wrapped in red trade cloth or some kind of trade cloth I'm guessing red this thing here uh, to the side of the uh, braid is his scalp lock and what he would do is starting from the back crown of his head he would braid a string of hair to uh, be a scalp lock and that's uh, sort of an open challenge to his enemies to come and take it if they can. Um, this braid is unwrapped it's fully exposed it looks like he's got some kind of a bead, string of beads hanging from his ear and there's a white thing, looks like it might be a shell hanging just below his ear. You have to really look hard at this picture to see those things, but uh, those are things that are interesting. And uh, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do this. And the thing is, I don't know whether this is the right direction the photograph should be in. It, a lot of times back when they were making dogger types, they'd flip the picture so this is actually opposite. Uh, it, it would be like looking in a mirror. Nothing that you see is where it's at. So actually this part would be over here. But I don't know that for sure, so I'm just going to go by, by guessing. If I have any uh, Lakota friends out there in the video world uh, watching this, let me know what the significance of... Uh, of uh, wrapping one braid and not wrapping the other one would be and uh, also what side would that be if they did wrap it and that way I can change it before I get to bronze but anyway just a little side note there all right I'm going to get back to work on him and I'm going to work on his neck and stuff and try to get the upper part of his body uh, finished off so I can start doing the uh, feathers and uh, Let's just get busy and quit talking.
All right, the batteries died on both cameras, and uh, I had two other batteries, but they uh, needed charging too, so I just basically didn't have any cameras for about, oh, about 30, 40 minutes. And so what I did was I just uh, did something that would look obnoxious and boring on camera, and that would be to uh, smooth off his skin and uh, you know add his uh, you know and just uh, the uh, breasts and stuff like that and just basically just smoothing the skin it's going to take a long time of smoothing and it's going to involve a brillo pad and uh, some lighter fluid because that will melt the clay a little bit and it will tend to make it a lot smoother but uh, you can see it looks a lot better uh, I adjusted the arm a little bit I'm going to uh, keep working on that but I'm going to do that after I do the war bonnet what I want to do right now is start drilling holes I don't know if I've never done this before so this will be a first time for me and it's because I'm using a true form armature in the first place. Now this is something I've never done before. And I don't know how well it's going to work. But I'm going to try drilling holes right where the uh, markings are because there is a uh, foam head underneath it. And I just realized I need to get finished with a skull cap first because it's going to be hard to finish it once the feathers are on. So let's go ahead and do that. I won't add the beaded band until after I've added the feathers. Or the left side, these are the right side, okay. Got one. I got a bunch of little toothpicks that I bought the other day. I had a thought that maybe this might help pin the feathers in place until I can do something with them. <sighs> yeah, I better put the feathers in first before I start arranging them. Mentally, this has got me worn right out, but I'll handle it. Okay. That should be it for the feathers. Now I've got to imagine what's happening with it. Okay, I got it. Start with this feather. Push this one back over just a little bit. There we go. And stick that into the hole. Yeah. This is where it's going to get really expensive to cast because of all these feathers hanging out there by themselves. going by 
is this gentleman's headdress. I mean, I'm not making it exactly like it, but I'm just telling you that's what it's going by. That's what gave me the inspiration. And I'm trying it. That's all you can do is try. Okay. Now I'm going to start, because all these feathers are connected by a string that uh, would connect them all around there, so they wouldn't go flying off by themselves. Now I gotta start bringing it back in because it's gonna meet up with these other feathers down here. Wow, that's pretty damn powerful right there. Whew. All right, I'm going to anchor these feathers together. And I'm going to call it quits for tonight, and I'm going to let it sit overnight. Tomorrow, I'll come in and start welding the feathers together. I'm going to have to change out my clay, put in my wax, and... Uh, I'm just really excited about how well this turned out. Yeah, that's gonna... There we go. But you see why I used wax. If I had used clay, this would never have happened. Because clay is too soft, and it doesn't have the uh, strength of wax to hold its uh, place. So, I'm really glad I decided to do this in wax. And once I'm done with the uh, welding and all that, then I'll paint the feathers to look like clay, and you'll never know it was done with wax. And then once it's cast, it won't matter what I use. It'll. Boy, this is going to cost a fortune cast. I really tried to avoid that, but you can't. What it's going to, what's going to cost is this. See all the space there? These things are hanging out. I know it's hard to see because of the black background, but those are all out there by themselves. There's nothing behind them. So all that has to be cast and manufactured. And that's what costs in the casting process. But uh, the gentleman that asked me to do this didn't care about the price and didn't care about the cost. He wanted it done the best possible. And that's what I've given him. Every one of these feathers is evenly spaced. And uh, it was worth the time that I took to do the feathers. This is going to look cool. All right, well, that's going to be it for tonight. And uh, thank God the feathers are on.